Hi guys, it's Alessandra Lisa here and I turned 19 on the 10th of March and I went out with my friends on the 15th to celebrate the legal drinking age in Ontario is 19. So I tried to get some drinks and this is what happened. Yeah, I'm here with my and we're waiting for Adriana. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get a drink. Um, one of the fish bowls. She's trying to recommend me a drink. I like, oh, okay, yeah, no, that's a good one. This that's the good one? We got this one for Nicole's birthday last year. Um, Because I remember it had Malibu. Okay, so. Wait, Malibu's like the coconut one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that one. That's we got kicked out. <laughs> for bringing outside alcohol. Okay, well, I think we can go to the other. This is her second time this week getting kicked out. <laughs> so what happened? To be honest, I feel like this is a sign that I shouldn't drink. Really, I really feel like it's no, a sign. I don't think that. No, I think it's, we got kicked out of the first place. This place is closing. Because of the virus. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's not I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. But I want to take pictures. I feel like this is going to be my last day actually outside of my house. Um, what did you say your last day? No, I did not say my last dinner. I said my <laughs> last day outside the house oh. for a while. And I couldn't I even get some alcohol. <laughs> so that is coffee. What do you mean? Why are we scared that somebody's going to push us down? That is so scary. Because people are psychotic and people can be on drugs and just <laughs> have a spaz. There's nobody here. Okay, now, yeah, but like. They could come down the stairs and run. Yeah. Well, if you're not afraid of it, I feel like you're crazy. No. You're just like a little bit. That's just not a fear of mine. Like, I don't think about someone coming in for Shazia. <laughs> When you say that, when you say it like that, you guys sound crazy. crazy. I sound a bit crazy when when it's said like that. Like that's not something I think about when I'm casually in the subway on my way somewhere. We're gonna be eating some chicken wings and we're gonna be doing a, a mukbang, a mukbang. Like how <laughs> should I, I should have given that my number? That guy was a fake. <laughs> <laughs> he Who? was a fake. <laughs> we went to, to Yorkdale and we went to the movies, but then like we were leaving to go to Moxie's. And then this guy, I knew they were gonna follow us first of all, <laughs> but he was started walking down the stairs beside us when we were on the escalator. So and he, he was he was first. saying I feel like I know you guys yeah. or something and we're like no it's from where like what do you mean you don't go outside you just go he's anywhere. like I feel like I've seen you around downtown somewhere and we're like okay like, no <laughs> no <laughs> right and then um what do you say after that then he's talking about how he's in New York yeah he's from New York and we're like okay so how did you see us downtown yeah, yeah. I'm even from here like, <laughs> that's like his lie. But I don't think, and then he followed us all the way to Moxie's. He was talking to us while we were trying to get our table, everything. He's like, okay, well, if I see you again, I'm gonna ask for your number, and then he left. Yeah. But okay, what I'm saying, like, I want somebody from New York because um, I just feel like uh, you're not as respectful. Yeah, they are. I feel like okay, okay you're probably looking like that, but when we went, yeah, it was I, like yeah. they're res like even when you turn them down, and you're like, no, like I'm good. They're like, okay, we'll have a good day, like. Yeah. I that's how well that's what we experienced nobody was ever like rude but like it's the thing that like people from new york are rude but they i don't think were. that at all i feel mean, like, like people from toronto are rude i think people from toronto are rude when we were there i was like every, how everybody's saying that i don't even feel like that was true yeah, i don't think that was true either but yeah. nobody but i don't want like a big city like somebody who's from big city because i feel like toronto is a big city and new york's like an even bigger city and like I don't know, like, I don't like that vibe. I just feel like the guys in New York, they're so cute. Yeah. So cute. I want, so like, fine. an Atlanta. They can dress. 
we have manners and mm -hmm. those fries like that. Mm -hmm. I want to move to LA. Thinking about it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know where I want to move, but I want to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I need to move. I'm living a hot climate. Mm hmm. You see? But I don't want to live in the island. Yeah. That's what I'd say. I, I would do. Live. I would. No. I mm -mm. can't. More. It's just such a different lifestyle. It's completely different when you grow up in, like, a different place. Yeah. yeah, when you grow up in the islands, when you grow up in Latin America, like, it's completely mm -hmm. different. And like the way you look at things is completely different. I agree. And like there's this Jamaican guy in my class and like he's like, Oh like I say things like, you know, Canada like has issues with like the government and stuff like that. And he's like, Yeah, but at least it's safe here and I'm like, Yeah, I get that but like there's still things that are like wrong. Expensive. Yeah. So yeah, I want my I wanna get a boo here in like the US or here. <laughs> And then move down there when I'm older. Oh, oh. I thought you were going to say and the boo there. No. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh, what's coming? <laughs> Do you know, um, what's her face? Lace from Keisha? Yeah. Do you watch her YouTube videos? Mm -hmm. It's with her and her boyfriend, and he's so cute. I don't even know what her boyfriend looks like. I don't even know who that is. He has a bunch of tattoos. And he's a rapper, too. Do you want a guy with the tattoos? Mm -hmm. not a whole bunch. Yeah, no. Like a sleeve? But I wouldn't mind a sleeve. Tattoos are cute, but not mm -hmm. a whole bunch. What about face tattoos? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. So it's like a teardrop? No. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like tattoos are nice. Mm -hmm. I feel like it just, I don't know, it might depend on the person. And it can't be something stupid. Mm -hmm. Like something actually meaningful to him. Mm -hmm. Exactly, you have to like tell me what your tattoo is. Yeah, <laughs> I can't be like, oh, I just got it to get it. Like, no. Mm -hmm. I think like he can have two sleeves and then like his chest. chest That's a lot. Are so right? Attractive. <laughs> right? No, they really are. But like, I don't want, like, I think hand tattoos no. are nice, but like, you still have to be able to like cover up, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I'd be okay with face tattoos. Really? Okay, but not like Apple super one. big, but like yeah. maybe just like one. Like, again, Roddy Rich. Like, he has one right here, like the one Nipsey had. I wouldn't mind that. But like, he has to be like secure in what he's doing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Obviously. How do you want your man to dress? I don't know. Honestly? I feel like... No. So no, you're going to the. I don't even think, like, they don't even have to have like expensive, nothing. Like, because. You have, wear a black t-shirt, a black jeans, as long as you know how to put it together. Mm -hmm. I agree. Like, I feel like that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, you could be wearing the most regular thing, but as long as you know how to put it together. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like designer doesn't matter. Don't see me no, not much a designer. Yeah. I don't really care for that. And then people who wear designer, they don't even know how to put it together. Exactly. They look like clowns. Mm -hmm. So. Some of these people just wearing it to wear it. Mm-hmm. Like, for sure. What's the first thing you notice when you see somebody? Like a guy? Or just like anybody? It could be a guy. Mm, their face? Their face. Yeah. I'd say their face too. But a lot of people say that they see their shoes first. And I never that. ever look at anybody's shoes ever. Me either. Ever. I, shoes. I don't. A lot of people look at shoes, but I never ever look at shoes. I'm like, oh. I don't ever like even look. I'm just looking Rarely. at your face. I feel like sometimes when I'm on the <coughs> who just died on the transit and like i don't want to look at people i'll look down and i'll just like look at people's shoes you know i'm trying to think but like i don't even remember people's Thank shoes you. what's the first thing you notice in a guy then um like yeah like, like or yeah what do you mean? Well, like visual let's go visual first mm -hmm. maybe their hair if they're okay honestly if their head is looking crazy i like i won't talk to the person mm -hmm. and i won't really engage in the conversation or i might not take them serious i might like, see like, like crazy. <laughs> yeah if their head's looking crazy i would still say face mm -hmm. or look at their I hair first I would, and then i'll look <laughs> at their smile i would <laughs> actually i do think i look at the hair a lot i look good yeah because hair can say a lot if they keep themselves clean and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But, like, even if you, like, style it properly. If your hair is curly and you have dreads, like, 
I know that you don't take care of your hair. <laughs> I don't mind Yeah, dreads. I guess hair is a big thing now. I don't mind dreads at all, but I'm saying, like, if no. your hair is curly and, like, we could tell it's curly and you just have, like, a big old nod in your mm -hmm, head. Mm -hmm. Okay, this guy doesn't brush his hair. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what about personality-wise? I like when they're funny. Okay. I feel like the first thing I know this is like a bit polite. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And don't talk to me like how you talk to, to your friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, one of your friends. Like, respectful, I guess I would say. Yeah. Respectful. I like when guys are like a lot like me. Really? I mean, not in somewhat. Like, in some ways, yeah. I mean, like. Yeah, some way. Like, like, then they understand you. Like, you don't even have to explain yourself. Yeah, like. exactly. Like, when I say, like, I play with people, not like that, but, like, I like when people are like that, too. Like, I met this guy, and he's like, oh, I just like stirring the pot sometimes. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, right? Like, I understand that. Like, I don't do that, but I like doing that with people, like, my friends. I stir the pot with my friends, not random people, mm -hmm. which is kind of what he did. But I was like, I understand that. And he was like brave and he always asked people he's like oh are you talking to blah 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 <laughs> and i'm like oh my goodness we're in front of like 20 people <laughs> i don't like people like that <laughs> no <laughs> who call people out yeah that yeah. makes me feel so uncomfortable like, there's like a like people that. that make me feel uncomfortable and uh yeah know. you know i agree but like he didn't do it too much you know like he knew when to stop and like so we just finished at Nayila's house. She let us um, come over because, you know, Corona just ruined my whole day. Um, it really did. It just ruined everything. And I'm very cold. That's why like, I can't speak and I'm shivering. But we are going home. Yep. Um, it was an eventful day. We got kicked out. Yep. <laughs> we got kicked out of Jack Astor's and we went to another one. They were closing. Um, no alcohol, so didn't drink anything. <laughs> Big 19. Um, three of my friends couldn't make it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> make sure you like and click that subscribe button.